What's going on? I am back, and it is time for part 48 of the No Death Run. So I'm not sure how I ended up over here. I know for a fact I left off on this table. I guess it uh doesn't like starting off on this table for whatever reason. <laughs> I just took notice of that. But anyway, um, I was re-watching the last video, and I noticed uh, at the end like, my voice kind of got quiet. That wasn't really technical difficulties. That was just me. Uh, that was more personal difficulties, but I'm feeling a lot better today, so I will try to project my voice better than I did in the last one. It's also, I know I left off on the table, because I washed it right up to the end, and that is where I left off. And I do remember leaving the game being on the table, so I'm not sure how that happened. But whatever, doesn't really matter. Uh, very insignificant. So yeah, let's get into trying not to die some more. Um... Alright, so we're pretty much done with Kaled here. Um, we did everything I wanted to do here. With the exec exception of a Black Blade Kindred. I don't know, maybe we'll take a quick swing at him. Let's see what Garonk's up to. Well, there is a point where he'll go after us, but let's just, for the time being, switch back to a, a fully upgraded... Gotta have this guy here, too. Uh... Where's our wheel? I don't need this shield on there instead. Let's see, do we get any more death roots for him? Two. Eventually he'll like attack you. just got kind of incantation. I wasn't really paying attention. There is a cat here now. I have a cat entering the room. Oh no, it sounded like he just got in attack mode. Alright, um, yeah, this could be pretty dangerous. This guy hits like a truck and he has a lot of health. Uh, if he is in attack mode, we don't have to kill him. Just do enough damage to uh, get him off our back. Can summon the mimic to help us. Yeah, it looks like he's ready to go. And I have a cat rubbing into me. If this cat gets me killed, I am not going to be happy. Alright, mimic. Let's do this. Oh boy. Basically, phase one of the Malachet fight. It's all the same tricks, kinda. We got him down already? Oh, I guess we already did it. Alright. You really need the Mimic. Mimic, you, you can go. What the hell was that? Mimic, uh... Stopped. You can go home now. Goodbye. I don't even know why I summoned the Mimic. I didn't realize it was that easy. I didn't think we'd be doing that much damage to him. Right, so what do we do now? I think we just have to rest. He's done uh, being violent, I think. Um, yeah, so now he's back to his regular position here. So what did he get? Might have been a some kind of rock. Uh, where's the incantations? Is it this? I think it might have been this. Heals HP over a period of time. It'd be pretty useful actually. Decide to use it. Maybe we'll try it out. Oh boy, so now we got this Black Blade Kindred, which I mean, I guess we can give him a go. 
He's really hurting us. We could just retreat. Just want to see how much damage we'll do to him. Get the mimic involved. Why not? Alright, it's not horrible damage. I mean... We have a plus 10 mimic, so... It's good. Okay, we'll take this guy out. To take out the two gargoyles. This guy's a little bit more lethal, but not that much. Oh, nice. We got a stagger on him. Follow up. Oh, yeah, we should be able to do this, no problem. Could have done this last episode. I think we were getting a little close on time last episode. Oh man, oh that's... Oh my god. Yeah, see, just like that... Suddenly become a bit of a problem. That's the thing with having the Mimic. It'd be hard to read, you know, who he's going after. You might think he's going for the Mimic, and then out of nowhere, he'll be coming after you. It can be a bit tricky. Uh, Mimic's using, uh, what's that called? The Pebbles. Almost there. Oh, oh, it's a double swing. Mimic's almost dead, but so is he. Come on, Mimic, let's do it. And for the win. All right. Black blade down. I think we get like eighty thousand runes from this guy. Eighty-eight. Not too bad, and we get his. Black Blade and the Halberd. All right, not too bad. Let's check those out. I've never used those. I don't think they're even considered unique weapons. More interested in the Black Blade, I think. I think they both need faith. Um, there's that. This needs. 22 faith. Where is that black blade? I don't know what the skill is. Does it do that, like, max HP reduction thing? I would like to have a tool that does that. I don't really want to wait until a Malakath to get something like that. It's very helpful. I mean, you can always just grab Tish and use her. She does that. Very helpful on bosses like the Fire Giant. Oh, it's right here. No, that's the Gargoyle's Greatsword. That is it, though, isn't it? It's the one we just got, I think. That was called the Black Blade, though. Vacuum Slice. No, no, this is the Black... Oh, yeah. 22 Faith. All right, yeah, it needs a lot of Faith. I don't know, I might build some Faith eventually. For now, we're just riding the uh, Pure Strength Train. And I don't plan on getting off anytime soon. Alright, where is our wheel? Bit off today. There we go. Okay. So now, we have Estelle. I take on Estelle. I go over to... Lake Arat, which I have been dreading since we got the grace over there, but I think we have uh, what we need to make it manageable at this point. Two levels. Let's see. Strength or vigor? Maybe we should take our vigor up for now. Up to at least 55, so we have 60 vigor. It'll only help. We seem to be okay on damage, judging from that fight. 
different from what we did to Garak here. All right, well, off we go. Off to hell it is. Oh boy. All right, so I guess we'll get on our uh, resistance stuff. Do have the mushroom set. We do have. Where is it? Immunizing Horn, plus one, which we got from killing this guy back when we first got the Grace here. Unfortunately, I never found the uh, Spiral Horn Shield. I don't know why. I found it on a bunch of my other characters, but I missed out on it on this one. I don't know why. I couldn't locate it. I just didn't want to put the time to try to find it. I know roughly where it is, but wasn't able to pinpoint the exact location. But that's fine. It'll just give us slightly more resistance. We should be okay uh, with the full Mushroom set. I know the mushroom uh, crown is here somewhere. Which you probably don't need it. I don't even remember what it does. I don't think it might do more resistance. I don't know. It might do something completely different as well. I don't really recall. But anyway, I guess we should see what we can loot here. I think straight through toward the right is um. Let's go up here first. This is where we want to go for a stell. But there is also um. What's it called here? Uh, Dragon King Soldier. So I guess we could fight him. But I know we gotta like up these platforms, then we'll just try to fight him on the platforms. Some rock grease. Alright, so we're gonna wanna have Flame Cleanse me ready to go, so we don't. Oh no. Let's go out this way first, actually. Make more sense. Let's just do a loop. Like a loot loop. Get whatever loot we can. And then, maybe we'll just fight the Dragon King Soldier, or not fight him, and just run over to his stell. I don't know. If he wasn't in a Lake of Rod, I might not mind it, but I might be able to fight him mainly on the uh, platforms. Uh, definitely don't want to be running around aimlessly here, as I am at the moment. See loot here. Ah, uh, Sombre, probably the most worthwhile loot that's here, honestly. Even with all this resistance, well, as you can see, all it does is make the uh, meter a bit higher. It doesn't affect anything else. So we get rod a little less frequently. Aside from that, it doesn't have much use having high resistance. Is this like poison or if you roll you get it all over you? It's last on your skin longer. I don't know. Uh yeah, should probably drink. Nah, I should have cleared it before I dumped it. Alright, I'm getting a summon, so the boss is probably around here. Is this the one to pop up for him? Oh yeah, that's him right there. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to have our flask, so I think we'll uh, go back this for him. Let's see what's over here. I think this might be the mushroom crown. I think it's like up on top of that thing. I remember this piece. I don't remember what this is, but I think I remember it being kind of a pain to get. Get it, we gotta actually go up there, which is a pain in the ass. It's easy to over jump. Alright, there we go. And screw it up this time. Which, if you do, you just go around. Not like you die, but it's kind of a pain. 
Oh, just made it. So I think the crown's up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's in there. This could be tricky to land. Well, I'd be able to just walk right onto it. Might be the way to go. How did somebody die up here? That's kind of scary. Doesn't look like a drop that'd kill you. Please. Ah, oh, alright. If we had sprinted or jumped, we probably would have over jumped. That is the mushroom crown. I don't think there's much else. I'm just gonna go back to the grace. And perhaps we'll just run right to the uh, boss. The Dragonkin soldier, that is. So we went around that way, and then he was... So I feel like he's kind of straight ahead in that case. Alright, because he went left, and then we kind of came in, and then he was out to our right. So he should be roughly in the middle here. So early to avoid the uh, build up. Oh, there we go. Alright, we gotta go over here. Just the time. Alright. Ah, oh, spites like this, I wish we were a mage. I think we could use our mimic. I feel like the Mimic might make it harder, because he might keep him, like, out in the rot. Because the Mimic doesn't know any better, he'll just go out in the rot. And I'd rather fight on here. I don't know, I'll just call him in, I guess. Do a little damage. Probably should have put regular armor on. Why I didn't. not active yet, so got some pieces of gear on here. So these are lights, so maybe I'll put on my no pants. I was thinking maybe we could try to rock a better shield or something. I wanted to upgrade some of this stuff, why didn't I? I want to upgrade the seal a bit more. Shield. This shield's upgraded, but Can if we have these light pants on. Kind of look like Millennia's legs almost, these pants. Oh, I didn't put that shield. Oh, I did put it on here. Alright, let's uh. Let's see if this helps us at all. Alright, let's go. Where's this guy? Right. Wake up! No fear, he's running right in. Let's hope he doesn't keep them out there. We want to get him over here if we can. Uh, the shield seems to be doing its job. I just don't want to be dodging because I don't want to be rolling through the uh, rod. Oh, come on. 
not see that coming. Come over here. Yeah, the mimic was a bad, bad idea. Not a good move. Now this guy's over there. I really want him over here. Look, he's going all the way out. Whatever, just let him take the mimic out. Maybe he'll come to us. There we go. Definitely hurts. Careful of that. He's getting there though. Ooh. Camera angles are oh boy, what was that? The ground? Someone hitting me there. takes place in or around Rot, I am not a fan. You know, a Dragon Scale Blade, actually a pretty cool weapon that I didn't even know about initially in my first playthrough. I think I did come back and get it like, way later, like when I was already done with the game later, and uh, I tried it out a bit in PvP, it's pretty cool. It was like the uh, Frost Lightning. It's not like a crazy overpowered weapon, but it's fun. I actually have a video on that, just in PvP, I want to check that out. There's at a time where meta builds are just really starting to get old, and I just wanted to try something different, so pulled that out. Had some fun with it. Right, so now, I think we want to go. We want to go this way or that way. We'll go over there, don't we? Let's go back to the Grace and uh, start from there. We can run. Actually, no. I can, it should be right here then, right? Should have enough to get there. Because I don't think we have to fight anything. We just run right to the Grace. We should be fine. This place, like, with the exception of the boss, it's not really dangerous as much as it is just annoying. Constantly remember to clear the rod, heal up. Just a real pain in the ass in that respect. You manage your FP or your boluses or whatever you're using, as well as your flasks. If you do that right, it's not that bad. Aside from the boss, all you really have to deal with is basilisks, which you can either pull the torch out and just ignore, or you can just uh, kill them or just. Avoid them, honestly, it's not that tough. So, what's this now? Oh. Yeah, I feel like we were supposed to raise some other shit that we didn't raise, right? Well, shouldn't there be more to this that I forgot to do? Yeah, I'm not really concerned with whatever's up here, I just want to get to a stealth. I'm being honest, I don't really care about this right now. First of all, we're going to need this. Let's go back to... Actually, I should probably still have the suit on it. Well, we'll just heal. We're going to run right to a grace. Put some real pants back on. Well, these were not even... These were probably the heaviest ones we were able to wear anyway, right? Oh, no, we could wear these at least. Carry them. Cool. Better than those, what were we wearing, like the god skin or something? Oh, so we should be, we should just have to go right in there, I think. Yeah. 
that's what we had to raise, but I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to mess around up there right now. I don't recall what it is, but oh, I don't think I need it. Oh, I might as well just heal through this stuff until I get out. As I remember to do it. High-risk, high-reward situation for sure. We can use the mimic there, I think. So we're gonna let him do most of the work and see if we could just get some fire stuff out. Some flame sling or. Uh... Yeah, this would do. Probably not very good. We'd probably be better off with. Where is it? This guy here. Alright, so we're gonna go. I think we can drop down here. I think there might be a loop across the way. And fantastic. Part of me wants to run right to Estelle, but I don't know. It would be nice to have that extra flask. Actually, some of the mimic are ready. Some of these guys we could take out on our own. These guys are a bit heavier. Hit a bit harder, too. Keep in mind we are one hand. This? Yeah, I think he's this way. He has seen beast I'm thinking of. The thing is, to trigger him, you have to almost, like, rot yourself, which I don't like. Triggered him. I don't know. I feel like no one has some FP for the fight. We have nine of these. We use one. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to cure the rot really quick. All right. Now we stay over here. Hopefully the mimic. Oh, cool. I was just saying, 
poke the mimic because you keep him over there. on that almost got me killed. That's bad. Very bad. Let's try this. Oh, wrong thing. Come here. I don't want to go in the rock. Actually, yeah, I'll keep them on. We'll clear out the rest of these guys. Then I'm thinking we'll hit the grace. Use that seed, and then we'll just do a run right for Estelle. Because there's no grace down there. There's only a... What do you call it? A stake. So, obviously we can't use that, because that would involve dying. So we want to get down there with as much flask as we have. Does this work on Got a backstab. There's no damage, huh? Was pretty badass despite him doing zero damage. Oh, that was the one I meant to kill. That's what I had a two hand. Let's try to get this skill. Not one of three. Oh, at least we have help. Oh, don't even tell me we're dealing with four. Hell no. Let me out of here. Alright, took one of them out. Took another one out. Just one more left. So, what's up here? I got something. A piece of treasure, maybe? Well, obviously, but what is the piece of treasure? What I meant is it like something we use or something for. Uh, it's a scorpion stinger, so, okay. Pretty cool. I've always wanted to do a build with, um, like that in one hand and, like, the, uh, Frozen Needle and the others get like a rot frost build up. I just thought that'd be a cool idea. Okay, so yeah, I guess we can uh, hit the grace. Let's see if there's anything else you want to do for Estelle, aside from upgrade the flask had something in mind. Oh yeah, I want to do that breath. I don't think I'd use it on him, but... Can I get breath attacks? Can I even go to the church? Like, part of me feels like I might have. 
with the end camps, right? Yeah, we got them. Just never used them. Or put them on for some reason. I don't know if Rock Breath would work against. We definitely have to put on. Um, I love having the stamina boost, but we definitely have to put Cerulean Tear on if we want to use that. We have no FP. Uh, where's Physic? We should probably keep the health on, because that could always come in handy, either for running out of flasks. even effective against him, but if we have the Mimic distracting him, we might be able to get her off worth a shot. Um, aside from that, we should probably get this higher than plus two. I don't know why I stopped at plus two with that. Lay out your arms, then. Oh, because I need more. I could just buy more. Hard to upgrade the shield a bit too. Back already, no matter. Leave it at six. Leave the shield, the shield, not worry about right now. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's go uh, fight a big dragonfly-looking thing. Skullhead and some deadly spells. All right. So this is the second time in the game that we have to hop into a tombstone. I think is actually extremely cool. So we're just gonna run past all this crap this time. Oh, I did use the seed, right? Yeah, I got 12 and I got one FP one. Right. Oh, I didn't put the dragon spell on though. That's something I wanted to do. Might try it out, we'll see. I can't try it. It's not equipped. I have two open slots here. I pop this on. What else? Any useful incantations. I'm not worried about fire damage. So I think a frenzy is cool, but. Kind of leaves you vulnerable for a bit. This might be, like, useful. I don't know. How much FP does it take? 18. It's not hard. I should... I don't know. That can't hurt. Let's try that. Let's put it on. 
We don't need to have two breaths. Let's try with the rock. Bad, maybe just pop at the beginning while we still have the Cerulean tier active. So we have some health regen going on. Is this the one? Let me drop down. There's some loot there I missed. Should I go for it? Warmed by these range attacks from these stupid things. If I go for the loot, yeah, we'll get it later. It's not worth it. Right now, they're not even aware of us, so let's leave it. Let's die. It's pretty obvious which one we gotta hop into. Go on a little trip. Okay, here we are. Yeah, so, uh, Stell can be uh, a bit of a pain. I've never really had trouble with him, but I never really... Actually, I did have a little, I think, on my first melee build. No, I didn't, because I was really overleveled. I found him late. A magic build, obviously, you're not going to have trouble at all, because you just spam spells at his face. But uh, with melee builds, you can be a bit on the tough side. ourselves mentally. Mimic is definitely helpful in this situation. Uh, the only thing is it's dangerous to cast them right away. It's obviously casting them takes health and then if you cast them and get hit by one of those it could be game over. So we gotta wait till we're in a safe position to cast the Mimic. Alright. Oh boy. I'm a little anxious. Not gonna lie. Ready? Here goes nothing. Ah, uh, alright, we're not hurting that bad, so we probably could have done the mimic. Let's go with a regular heal. Let's save that so we can get a spell off. Let's see how this does. This is a heal, that's not much at all. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Manage the stamina a bit better. Let's try this. Oh, don't fly away while I'm doing it. Oh, stay there. Yeah, I was gonna fly away. Crap. I think I rotted him though. Yeah, I did get him rot. Okay. Ah. Uh, I shouldn't even try. It's either too early or too late. I'm trying to dodge that. Never fails. Or it always fails. It never fails to fail, I should say. Put more rod on him. Oh, that rod is still going, actually. Alright, so let's go for our FP. Let the mimic get lifted up there. 
Might as well heal. Yeah, that overtime healing isn't too much. Right, let's try some regular offense. Oh yeah, there we go. It's been missing the rot. Just gotta watch the stamina. I do love getting the stamina boost from the flask, but I don't know. I just wanted to try Cerulean Tear just for the rot. I might put the stamina back on after this fight. I'll watch out for this. Meteor Shower. Which you can get as a mage as well, for yourself. I'd rather just go for his body, because when you go for the head, yeah, you get a little more damage, but uh, then you can grab you. That's not a punch pack. Grabs you in those little jaw-like things. It's similar to the uh, Fallen Star Beast. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, that's the skill that the, uh, the Wing of the Skull will do. Man, if he was robbed right now... Okay, that could have been a one-shot. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, boy. Stay fully healed and save. He's got to teleport. Right, right on top of us. One hit. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Don't want to get overzealous here. Right, let's just see. Get him. Got him. There we go. I don't know what the mimic's doing. Oh, random shit. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it went fine at the beginning. I just started getting nervous at the end that I'm gonna like do something stupid. Alright, so a lot of big foes fell this time. We got a Black Blade Kindred down, we got Stupid seed beast, and we got a stell, most importantly. And the dragon soldier. I could have forget about that. A lot of annoying enemies down. I'll take this up to 55, which will be 60 for us. With the uh, rune arc. And we should be able to get past here. Oh, wait, did we not get the key? Oh, no. We have to get that key. Right? Yeah, we need the ring. Well, we need to use the key to go get the ring. All right, no problem. Uh, we gotta go here. I just want to remember what's. This... All right, it's this. Let's make sure we have the grace. We do. Yeah, we rested it a level up. Of course you do. Okay, we gotta go. Here. Open that chest. I'm pretty sure we got the right key. Somewhere along the way. We're not going to have time to finish the quest off. Yeah, we're at 48 minutes already. So we're going to have to finish off the quest next time. By finish it off, I just mean go in to talk to Ronnie and... Maybe even take on that dragon that's there. In which case, maybe I should just wait. Alright, you can see that's open now. Yeah, maybe we'll just stop here. So, oh, actually, maybe there's just a grace we can grab. I don't remember exactly what happens. Okay, I know we come out into that next area. Village of Albanurix, but it's technically like around the same spot on the map. Moonlight Altar, that's what the word I was looking for. Oh, the dragon's gonna... Alright, let's just grab, let's grab this grace. Perfect. And then I will pick up from here next time. Alright, that is it for now. Uh, things went pretty well today. I'm fairly happy with it. You know, of course, it could have always gone better, but 
when you're playing the way that I'm playing, all nervous and shit, of course, uh, it's not going to go as well as I'd like it to, but killed everything, we didn't die, and some close calls, but uh, nothing that made me shit my pants anyway, so that's good. Uh, I definitely felt a lot better than I have been, so that's good. So, yeah, I will see y'all next time for part 39. We will uh, polish off Ronnie's quest, and then... Shit, I don't know. We took out Black Blade. Like, we did pretty much everything I wanted to do in Kaled, I think. So, I guess after that, it's just, um... Head up to the plateau. I mean, well, we already, already did the plateau. Maybe we'll start from the plateau, see if we missed anything, and then head into the capital. But, yeah, that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I will see you next time for part 30... Sorry, did I say 30 before too? 49. We are in part 49. If I said 30 before, I apologize. Part 49. Peace.